Okay, this is a Max Maven inspired eight card challenge that I'm wanting to share with you today. So as you can see, I have four pairs of cards, a king and queen of each of the four suits. Now, as is the case in all Max Maven routines, the goal is to match these up the best you can at the end. Okay, so right now, if you were here, I'd have you tell me how to kind of randomly stack these, okay? Now, since we both saw the cards, why don't we go ahead and just mix them? We'll just kind of do a left-right shuffle here, random stacking. How would you like these stacked? Right on left? Okay, very good. I can give it a Charlie A shuffle, or if you were here, I'd have you just randomly cut the cards. That would be just fine. Uh, now, let's go ahead and just deal down the cards and we'll see how you're doing so far here. So the goal is to get a king and queen of the same suit. Did you succeed? Oh, no, you did not. <laughs> now, would you like the left pile on top of the right or right on left? Right on left, okay. Well, let's try that again, see how you do. Okay, any better this, nope, fail, that's a fail. Second time, okay, right on left again. Okay, I keep forgetting to ask you, apologize for that. Okay, what about now? How did you do? Oh, no, that's not a match. Not the kind of match we're looking for there. Uh, why don't we deal out into four, just to kind of give you a better chance. In fact, we'll even say, if you can come up with a single match, a single pair of a king and a queen of the same suit, we'll call that a success. Let's see. Oh, I'd, I'd say that's still an utter failure. I am so sorry. Oh, I was going to ask you how to stack those left to right. Okay, great. Uh, why don't we even deal out um, like this, just to give you additional ways that you can maybe match these up, uh, since you don't seem to be having much success. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> you still, you just needed a queen of spades. You got everything but that. Okay. That's still a fail. I am so sorry. Uh, what? I'm putting the cards all over the place. Uh, would you like, like these stacked left to right or right to left? Left to right? Okay. Very good. Now, do you feel like you've had, you know, sufficient opportunity to match up the cards? Because I'm hoping to take at least one turn. You want to try one more time? How many piles? Four? Okay. We'll try one more time. We'll see if your luck's any better. Uh, no, there. And no, there. I am so, so sorry. Okay. You like the stack right to left? Okay, that's just fine. Okay, well, it's now my turn to give it a try. So what I'll do is I'm going to just fill it out into two piles, okay? And I'm going to use my intuition here. Um, I'm kind of feeling like, get rid of that hair, that's gross. I'm kind of feeling like um, these don't match here. So what I'm going to have you do is um, just randomly pick one of these halves and turn it face up. You want the left one? Turn face up. Okay. And then how would you like these stacked? Left on right or right on left? You want right on left? Okay. Very good. Okay, and then from here we could even give it a good old Charlie A shuffle or have you randomly cut it, that would be fine as well. Okay, um, Okay. so what we're going to do at this point is I'm going to try something that has always worked for me and as you may know from previous videos in this series, uh, this down under shuffle is something that has been discovered to accomplish amazing things. Okay, so if you haven't seen this before, it's kind of a fun shuffle. So I thought we would give it a try here. So how it works is you take the top card and you go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, and then I feeling like I should stop. I don't know why. I'm feeling like maybe I should stop right there. Now we'll figure, we'll see if that was a good decision or not, but I'm feeling like that's a pretty good pair. Okay, what about the remaining cards? How are they doing? That feels like a good pair as well. I think I'll just leave those the way they are. Now, what about these cards? Hmm, I feel like that might be a good pair, and this one right here. 
Okay, so the goal is to for me to at least match up one pair of a king and a queen of the same suit. Did I succeed in doing any of those? Well, I'm kind of afraid to look here. Oh, I got one. <laughs> king and queen of hearts. What about this one? Oh, a second one. Yes. And what about this one. Oh, it matches. And then this is the one I was really worried about. And of course, I guess it would have to match by elimination there. Okay, wow, we had success. Or I should say I had success because of the down under shuffle. Whoa. Okay, so that is my Max Maven inspired eight card challenge. So let's quickly show you kind of how that's done. Where you need to start is um, any place where you have the cards of interest that you want to pair together as pairs. Okay, so we have them as pairs. You can even mix up the order of the king and the queen. That would be just fine. Okay, and now what you do is you just randomly stack these. You can have the spectator tell you how to do that. That would be fine. Okay. Now, in the language of the principles taught on my course, this is called an AMP packet. AMP stands for Adjacent Mirrored Pairs. And so all that means is the cards of interest are in pairs starting from the top. Okay, so these are the pairs that we want to preserve. That's called an AMP. Well, anytime you have an AMP, dealing out the cards into two piles like this, creates coupled piles. What's a coupled pile? A, a couple piles are where at each level the cards form the pairs that we want. Okay, so like at the bottom, if you look at the very bottom cards, this is one of the pairs that we want to preserve. And that will be true at each level of these two piles. Okay, now if you randomly stack coupled piles, you get something called a two cycle here with cycle length four. So it's a cyclic construction. And so what it means is there's a pattern that repeats twice. Well, anytime you have a cyclic construction, you can randomly cut the cards wherever you want. It will not harm that characteristic. Better than that is the Charlier shuffle. This is the top to bottom, bottom to top shuffle. I'll put a link to the video of a Charlier shuffle tutorial in the description. Okay, so it's a very convincing shuffle because it looks like the cards are being sufficiently mixed when in fact all of that movement of the cards is equivalent to just cutting the cards at some location. Okay, so this is still a two cycle. Now it's still cyclic. And then what I did was I just dealt out uh, four cards, dropped the other ones on top, at this point, we have mirrored piles. Because of the reversing of the order of these cards, now, instead of matching at each level, they're kind of the mirror image of each other. So, for example, this card here is now, quote, related to the bottom card there. Um, same thing here. This card here is related to the bottom one there. Okay, so these are called mirrored piles. Well, one of the characteristics of mirrored piles will be that the cards in particular at the top will never be of the kind that you want. It won't be a matching king and queen of the same suit, okay? And you can randomly stack these as well, okay? And then you can deal them out again. And these are still mirrored piles. And that's the case because of the stay stack principle. And that's something we talk about on my channel. So how that works is if you had a mirrored packet like we did, if you deal it out into a number of piles, and that number of piles is a divisor of the packet size, and then randomly stack those left to right, right to left, it will still be mirrored. Now, of course, two is a divisor of eight, divides evenly into eight. So the stay stack principle says that we're still looking at mirrored piles here. So we're guaranteed that more specifically that these will never match here on the top, okay? A random stack, I think I did it three times or something. Okay, but the reality is you could do this for all eternity and, the, and these will never match. These will not be of the same uh, suit with a king and queen being paired up. Okay, um, now two is not the only divisor of eight. Four is as well. So what that means then is you can deal out into four piles from left to right 
and and then take a look at the top cards and you will not get a matching pair among any of these okay we don't get a king and queen of the same suit okay so that's because of the stay stack principle you can stack from left to right or right to left um, i think we also did this dealing down into two one two one two one two well the stay stack principle still applies we will not get a single matching pair of a king and queen of the same suit. And we haven't, okay? And so after that, I said, well, let me, let me take a try at this. You've, you've tried quite a few times to get it to match. I'll, I'll try just kind of once here. So what you need to do here is you just deal them out into two piles as before. So no difference there. Now, we already secretly know these won't match. There's no reason to try to reveal those. Those won't match. So we try something different, okay? And so what we do here is we ask the spectator to choose either pile and flip it face up, okay? Well, think about what that does to the ordering of these cards when you flip that packet. Well, it reverses their order from what it was. Now, they're back to being coupled piles, so we can randomly stack these, and it's a two-cycle yet again. Well, being a two cycle means you can randomly uh, cut it or you can perform as many Charlier shuffles as you would like. Okay, that won't harm anything. Okay, now from there we use this amazing down under shuffle. Okay, so this is where you go down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, under, down, until you get to two cards at the end. You remember that? You set those down, you're just hoping those are, quote, matching mates, uh, which they should be if we haven't made a mistake. And then from here, what will be true is if you just push, push off the next pair, that should be a, a pair of, of match, you know, king and queen of the same suit. And then over here, what will happen? But there's a couple of ways of doing this. Maybe I'll do it a different way just to give you another. The way I did it in the performance was I pulled off this one and then one below it. I pulled off, let me jog them there. I pulled those off together, leaving the other two. Okay, that would be one way to do it. Another way to do it, which I guess in some ways is maybe safer, is just do left, right, left, right. You're done, okay? So that, that accomplishes the same thing. So if we haven't made a mistake, these should all be perfect pairs of kings and queens of the same suit. So let's take a look here. Oh, we got one. Ah, oh, that's better than the spectator did. Oh, we got a second one. How did we do here? Oh, we got a third one. <laughs> And a fourth one. We nailed it thanks to the down under shuffle. We accomplished something that's highly unlikely. Anyway, that is my Max Maven inspired eight card challenge. So this will always work for you. If you're wanting to understand more deeply, take a look at the many other videos on my channel that talk about AMP packets, mirror packets, couple packets, and two cycles. Okay, so those are all terms that are used a lot on my channel. And with a little bit of vocabulary under your belt, you can really pull off some amazing card effects. So thank you for watching and take a look at some of the other videos in this playlist dealing with Max Maven routines. And there's many playlists on this channel to explore if you're interested in mathematical card magic and seeing brand new discoveries in the field of mathematical card magic because I have many new discoveries I'm sharing on my channel. So thank you for watching.